Imagine the despair of knowing you will never see your Creator, the one who gave you life and endless chances to return to Him. Imagine, on the Day of Judgment, as the sun is brought close and people sway in fear of what their fate will be, there is a piece of flesh in the body. If it's sound, the whole body is sound. If it is corrupt, the whole body is corrupt. Praise be to Allah. And peace be upon Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Today, inshallah, we will dive into the profound meaning and the beauty behind one of the most recited phrases in our daily lives. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful, this beautiful phrase carries deep wisdom and significance that can transform our relationship with Allah and how we approach everything in life. Let's explore its tafsir and understand the mercy of Allah as it touches every part of his creation. The meaning of Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim is a phrase that Muslims are encouraged to say before starting any task, be it big or small, from eating to embarking on important journeys. We say with the understanding that we are seeking Allah's help and the blessings in everything we do. But let's look at it deeply. Bismillah means in the name of Allah. It's a declaration that we are starting with Allah's name, acknowledging that nothing can succeed without His permission and guidance. It is an act of surrender and trust in Allah's wisdom and power, Ar-Rahman, Allah's mercy that encompasses all His creation. This is the entirely merciful, the mercy that Allah showers upon everything that exists. Believers and disbelievers, humans and animals, plants and the earth, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives sustenance, health and blessings to all, regardless of their belief. The Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him once narrated a story about a man who gave water to a thirsty dog. Because of this small act of mercy, Allah forgave the man's sins and entered him into paradise. This is a Rahman in action. The mercy that spreads over every living thing. As Allah says in the Quran, and my mercy encompasses all things. Ar Rahim, the especially merciful, the VIP mercy reserved for the believers, while Ar Rahman is for this world and everything in it. Ar Rahim refers to the mercy that believers will experience, specifically in the afterlife. On the day of judgment, when all of humanity stands before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, his mercy for the believers will be unlike anything witnessed before. It is this mercy that will provide safety, protect believers under the shade of Allah's throne, and eventually guide them to paradise. Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim in life. Ar-Rahman shows us that Allah's mercy is not limited to any one group. Think of the rain that falls on the righteous and the wicked alike, the air that both believers and disbelievers breathe, and the food that all creatures eat. These are manifestations of Ar-Rahman's mercy. Allah continues to provide for even those who deny Him. However, Ar-Rahim is the special mercy, exclusive to the believers on that day when no one will be able to save anyone except Allah. Imagine, on the day of judgment, as the sun is brought close and people sway in fear of what their fate will be, the believers will be given comfort and peace under Allah's shade. This is the mercy of Ar-Rahim, a VIP protection that comes only to those who live their lives in faith and obedience. The greatest honor of all is when the believers finally enter Jannah. There, Allah will grant the believers a sight that will surpass every other joy. They will see the face of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is a mercy beyond description and it will be the ultimate reward. The Prophet peace be upon him said, when the people of paradise enter paradise, Allah will say, do you want anything more? They will say, have you not brightened our faces, entered us into paradise? and saved us from the fire, then Allah will remove the veil and they will look at him and nothing will be dearer to them than looking at their Lord. Ya Allah, nothing more beautiful than this. Also experiencing the VIP mercy in this life, Ar Rahim's VIP mercy isn't only reserved for the hereafter. We get to experience a taste of this special mercy right here in this life, particularly through acts of worship 
that bring us close to Allah. Have you ever felt the sweetness of Iman when you stand for tahajjud, night prayers, in the quiet of the night, or when you sit with the Quran reflecting on its deep meanings, feeling your heart soften as Allah's words touch your soul? This is a glimpse of Ar Rahim's mercy. It is that indescribable peace you feel when you're praying in the masjid. When you are immersed in sincere dua or when you attend the Friday prayers, the Prophet peace be upon him said, there is a piece of flesh in the body. If it's sound, the whole body is sound. If it is corrupt, the whole body is corrupt. Verily, it is the heart. When we engage in these acts of worship, it is as if Allah's mercy descends upon our hearts making them sound and filling us with a tranquility that the world cannot give. This is a Rahim in action in this life, the sweetness of faith, the joy of worship, and the serenity of being close to Allah. It is a gift for the believers, a sign of what's to come in the hereafter. It is a test of that VIP mercy that will manifest fully when we meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and are safe under his shade. On the other hand, those who have rejected Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his signs will be deprived of this mercy. One of the punishments of the hereafter for the wrongdoers is that they will never see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Quran says, Kalla innahum an rabbihim lamahjubun. No, surely they will be veiled from their Lord that day. Imagine the despair of knowing you will never see your Creator, the one who gave you life and endless chances to return to Him. This is one of the severest forms of punishment, to be cut off from the mercy that could have saved them. Let's reflect on how we can apply this understanding in our daily lives. When we say Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, we should remember we are invoking Allah's vast mercy before starting any task, whether we are taking a test, beginning a project, or even something as simple as eating. We are acknowledging our dependence on Allah's mercy. It reminds us to begin everything with the intention of pleasing Allah and seeking His blessings. This phrase should be more than just a routine. It is a powerful tool to connect with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and be mindful of His constant mercy. Brothers and sisters, the next time we recite Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, let it remind us of Allah's boundless mercy, mercy that is for everyone and everything. Let it also remind us of the special mercy that awaits the believers in the afterlife and the sweetness we can taste in this life when we engage in worship. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us the gratitude of his gifts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.